2020 was the worst year in the history of modern luxury. Before that, annual revenues for the luxury fashion market topped $380 billion. More than two-thirds of growth was buoyed by the Chinese, at home, but especially as tourists abroad. The lion's share of revenues came from accessories, especially handbags, with designer sneakers catching up. Then, Wuhan, China locked down. COVID hit Europe during the 2020 spring fashion show season. Giorgio Armani live-streamed his show from an empty theater in Milan. But other brands forged on, with shows packed full of fashion insiders. In a global business so interconnected, unforeseen consequences of the pandemic came to light. Delayed weddings led to cancelled embroidery orders out of Paris, threatening the livelihoods of the Karigar artisans of India. Luxury revenues plunged by more than 20%. Companies cut costs. But by the end of 2020, COVID-19 had still devastated industry profitability. Fashion was forced to adapt, using technology to drive creative and business innovation. The fashion business was reimagined through distance selling, online films, and virtual fashion. The luxury industry bounced back, dominated by the mega brands Hermes and Chanel and the mega groups LVMH, Caring, and Richemont. By the first half of 2021, revenues for some of the biggest names were up as much as 40% on pre-pandemic levels, delivering record profits. From an economic perspective, these super winners are emerging from the pandemic even stronger. Now, there is a reawakening in Paris, the global capital of luxury fashion. It's a historical echo. The last time fashion burst back to life here was after World War II, with the sensation that was Christian Dior's new look. It will take more than a new silhouette to transform the fashion industry now.